Yeah, being on executive board has been a huge learning experience so far. You have to learn to uh, talk with people and work in the teams and kind of fight through conflict with other people. Uh, so it's definitely you're learning real life skills while being a student. Uh, so a lot of times when other kids in the house are just sitting around doing whatever they want to do, uh, you have the executive board who's doing legitimate professional work, uh, figuring out schedules for the fraternity, balancing uh, a massive budget of $60,000, um, and it's just a lot, of, a lot of life lessons that you're getting out there, and it's a huge, invaluable learning experience. As president, I have to oversee all the positions on my e-board, make sure everything's running smoothly, and I also have to deal with the school in terms of the IFC, DFSL, and OSC, pretty much just make sure we're all on the same page and getting out of trouble. Um, it's pretty crazy, honestly. I've never had to do anything like this before. Kind of when I first got elected, it took me a while to get my feet on the ground and kind of figure out what, what I need to do and how I need to do it. It's, it's a lot to take in and it's a tough job. I gotta make decisions quick. I gotta answer people's questions to the best of my abilities when they have nowhere else to turn. And I just gotta put all the work I can to make this fraternity the best it could be. My responsibility is ensuring that the school and our fraternity are both on the same page when it comes to coordinating and planning frat events. So that means running security at parties. That means calling the school and checking in with the school to make sure that everything we do as a fraternity and like every event we have is within our code, within the code of the school. This past month in November, it was No Shave November month. Um, with our fraternity, we call it No Shave Tep November, <clears throat> and we we raised uh, over seven thousand um, dollars for the No Shave November Foundation, which raises money for uh, like pancreatic cancer um, and colon cancer, as well as the St. Jude Foundation. It's definitely a learning experience. Um, it just really helps well, my position especially especially because um, a lot of things are usually going on per week so it's all about really organization and coordinating and cooperating with other people and so it's kind of nothing is basically on me it's all kind of like group work group projects so I guess that's gonna help me a lot later in life um, so yeah it's a, it's a pretty rewarding experience. I don't know I've learned how to take criticism well this is probably the most thankless job I've ever had to do and I know I signed up for it and it's just you're gonna Few people are going to thank you when you do stuff right, but everyone's going to be on your back when you mess up in any sort of way. So kind of taking that criticism and hearing the constructive sides of it, no matter who it comes from and how harsh it might be, instead of taking it personally. Because at the end of the day, you can't take it personally.